it's called the Reverse Endless Falls Knot. So to make this braid pattern, I like to attach my rope with a lark's head knot and then slide a second rope through the lark's head knot, pulling it even on both sides before securing that lark's head knot back to my dowel rod. Now to form the actual braid, I take the two cords on the outer end and I send it right behind the two in the middle, crossing the left over the right to form a loop. I like to pinch it right here where everything crosses so it looks like I have two well-defined loops. I send the middle right cord behind my ropes to go up and around and through the loop on the right. Then I repeat on the left by taking the left cord behind and around and through the loop on the left. And I pull those two outer cords tight to secure the knot as well as adjusting those two middle cords as I go. Then I just repeat the same step. So I take the outer cords left over right behind the two in the middle to form a loop. I take that middle right cord behind and around and through the right side of the loop. I do the same on the left by taking it behind and around and through the left side of the loop. And I pull to secure and tighten. Once you are finished, like each rope is endlessly falling into itself, making a very beautiful braid pattern. Think of how I use the knot I'm about to demonstrate. So this was done with a five millimeter braided cord, and I pulled the knots in the center here, the joining ones, um, closer to get together to give more of a knitted look. You can see I left more space in between to show more of those crisscrosses um, in between. To attach all of our cords with a reverse lark's head knot, and how you do that, you just fold your cord in half, you find the center point. We're going to loop it over the dowel, open it up, and pull these th two through. Now, just to demonstrate the first one, I'm just gonna space it over here so that I can give you a clear view. So we're gonna take four cords, and we're gonna take the outer two, and we are going to crisscross them behind so that these two are coming down. And then the next step is gonna to, to be to take the center two, keep them lined up, and loop them through the center part. So I'm just gonna go in and grab them. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And now I'm gonna tug on these outer ones to pull it up. And then as I do that, I'm gradually gonna Give those a little tug as well until you get all the way to the top and we have these two loops there and then the two coming down. So I'll do that again. I'm going to do one row the whole way across and then I'm going to show you how to attach them with the crisscrosses. So once more we're taking the outer two, we're going to cross them behind. Okay, and now we're going to take those center two and we're just going to take them right through that center hole. Now that the first row is done, we're going to start the second row. Um, so I'm going to show you if you want to go straight down and then if you want to go down into a V as well. So we're going to take this one, this outer one, and we're not going to use this one this time. We're going to use the very first one on the next knot over. Okay, so this one and then the first one from there. And we're just going to push that extra one behind and we're going to use these two to do the loop again. So we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to pull those right through that loop. So you can see that nice braid type look starting. And now to knot onto this one, we're gonna use that one that we left out from there, okay? And the first one from there. 
So I'm going to take those two, we're going to go behind, and then loop those two through the center. So now you can see that first little cross there. Okay, and then once more we're going to use the one that's coming out from there, and then the first one from the next knot over. Leave that one out, we're going to crisscross behind those two, We're using that one that we just left out, this one. And now to finish it, we're using that one and we're going to use that one, okay? So there you go first row of crisscrosses in between there and of course if you want this to be closer knit like the market bag then you would just pull these tighter as you go along and these would come together so you get more of that like cable knit, snit, uh, cable knit stitch but for now we're just going to do it like this so I can demonstrate now if we want it to come down into a V what we're going to do is